All right, with that, let's switch gears and let's talk about uh, a new feature that we've been working on on the product team. So maybe first, I'm John. For everyone who doesn't know me, I lead the product uh, team execution at Acryl. And in the past few weeks, we've been working to redesign the, the queries tab on the data set page. So what we can do is go through what the queries tab looks like today, uh, what are the challenges with it, and what we ended up building. I'll do a quick demo, and then I'll talk about when this will be available. All right. So the queries tab today um, is basically very basic, <laughs> to, put it, to put it bluntly. Um, it is a list of recently executed queries that we can extract from certain ingestion sources. Uh, it has limited support. So for example, we're only able to extract queries from systems like Snowflake, Redshift, BigQuery. I think there may be one or two others, handful of others that we can support it for. Um, it lacks context. So as you can see in the screenshot here, it's just kind of showing you individual queries that were run. It doesn't give you really much additional context around it. It doesn't let you, you know, copy and paste this, this query easily, anything like that. Uh, it's hard to discover these queries because we have kind of a very long list of them. It can be very long in some cases, uh, and it's just a flat list. So, you know, not very conducive to looking through them or searching through them. And then it lacks any, you know, human curation. So these are, these could be, you know, automated queries that humans really are never going to be running against this table anyways, uh, which in a lot of cases is just not that useful. And so uh, we took a look at these challenges. We also took a look at some asks that we've received from the community and our customer base. And uh, one of the common themes was that, you know, we needed a way to view, document, and share, you know, other commonly used SQL queries. Maybe not ones that are executed by a daily job, but ones that analysts are going to be running in more of an ad hoc fashion. And so on the right here, you'll see one of the feature requests that we received which is basically a way to have curated query sets on the data set page alongside the top queries or the recently uh, executed queries that we have. And so with that, I'm going to jump into a demo and kind of show you guys what we ended up building and what will be released. So I'll jump over to here. Um, you can imagine we have this pet profiles data set on Snowflake, and maybe this is representing unique pets in a pet store. So we've got a pet ID, a pet type, you know, some other fields here. Um, and if we navigate over to the queries tab, you know, you'll immediately see that there's one section here already. And what you're looking at here is actually the exact thing that we had on the previous query tab. So it's a list of recently executed queries that have been actually run against this table. What you'll notice is another, another important control that we've added, which is this add query button. And so what you can do if you click this is you can basically come in and create a curated query to share with the rest of your organization. So let's say we do something like this. We wanna select all pet profiles where pet type is equal to dog. And maybe you wanna order by created at, and maybe you wanna limit it to 10. Um, and then what we can basically do is just pin this query to the data set. So we'll give it a title. We'll say maybe select, you know, all dogs ordered by creation date. And finally, we can add some rich context to this query. So we can use this rich documentation editor to say things like, you know, when should this query be used? maybe when doing analytics. And we can also add other rich context, like you know who should be contacted about this query. And of course, we have this rich text editor now. So you'll be able to find someone specific and maybe what are you know, alternative queries or modifications of this query. So we can add this rich context, we can save it. And what you'll see is a new section appears up above recent queries, which is called highlighted queries. And this is a set of curated shared queries for this data set. You can see it's got the context that I added. We can also easily copy it. We can expand it to full screen, do the same thing here, and then we can read that rich documentation. So this just gives you another way to add rich context to any data sets on Data Hub. And it's kind of, you know, it breaks us from that dependency on having support for ingesting these things automatically because this is now supported across any data set in Data Hub. Um, where you'll be able to come in here and add these rich queries. 
One other cool thing is you'll be able to search through them. So if you care about queries that contain certain things, maybe the created at field, I'm able to filter this stuff out. Uh, maybe I care about pet ID. And so that's down here. And then finally, I'll just show you what it looks like when we have a lot of queries, because this was another common complaint with the queries tab. You'll see that we actually have pagination now on each section. So you'll be able to paginate through these things. Um, and of course, the search will continue to work across those as well. All right, I'm going to jump back in. Maybe the final thing that I, I missed maybe is you can always edit and delete the queries from here as well. So the full management process in the queries tab now. All right, back to the demo and or the slides and just a quick recap. So with the new queries tab, you'll be able to create, document, and discover important queries about your data, right on Data Hub um, in context. In terms of availability, this will be available in the next release. It's already merged in, so you can find it on the demo website as well. Um, and if you have feedback or questions, we're always listening, so please let us know in Slack. And with that, I think that wraps up the feature demo.